Well, hey guys, welcome back to Tactics Talk, but not World of Tanks. We are on Ship Saturday. Ship Saturday. You can see I've got World of Warships called up right here. And I've played this a little bit in the past, and I've kind of got into it in the last month or so. So I'm up to Tier 5 on some of the... some of the. If I call them tanks, I apologize. That's force of habit. But on some of the ships, I'm up to Tier 5. I'm going to show you some gameplay. You saw some World of Warplanes yesterday. I'm going to show you some ships. I'm not really sure about World of Warplanes yet, but I really kind of like World of Warships. World of Warplanes. I really like World of Warships. I'm, I'm enjoying it. The grind is fairly easy at low tier, and it's also, I think, compelling gameplay at low tier as well. I also think that's true about World of Tanks, but for some reason everybody's got the idea that it's not, and that, that's a subject for another day. The World of Warships is slightly more relaxed in gameplay, although you can get deleted pretty quickly, and you will get beat up if you don't know what you're doing, much like World of Tanks, and I assume World of Warplanes as well. Right now you can see that the the port, not garage, but the port is set up in apocalyptic thing. One thing that World of Warships tends to do is they have more of these thematic kind of things in the game than World of Tanks does. And this one is like a, some kind of crazy steampunk apocalypse thing. In fact, they have these ships down here. The Messer, the Carnal, the Atomic Rage, which are just really kind of fantasy, crazy, steampunk, Warhammer, whatever you want to call it. Ta uh, again, tanks, I'm trying to call them ships. Also, you can see that the, <laughs> the, the camos can get funny. Pretty interesting. Uh, Carl's Rule, this is more of a apocalypse camo with the rust and all that stuff. What have I got in the VF? There's a more standard dazzle type of camo that you may have actually seen. There's a red camo, so you get the picture. It can get a little bit different right there. Right now, I'm going up the, the German and the American lines. A couple things right up front. When I, when I loaded in the first time about three or four weeks ago, first time in a long time, basically, I had an account. I played a couple, and I hadn't really touched it for a long time. I had a bunch of credits and a whole bunch of free XP. Well, I don't know if that is left over or if it transferred from my account, from my World of Tanks account, or if it's something I had from earlier, or I got it all because I came back as a player, or it just, because I've had an account for three or four years, it accrued on specials. I, I, I don't know. I have no idea where it came from. Uh, so if you've made an account a while ago and you jumped back in because you saw this video, kind of let me know if you had a bunch of extra credits and free experience sitting around, because I used it. I just, whatever, it's there. Off we go. I also, from the the split now where World of Tanks has its own World of Tanks premium. Remember, we talked about it a few months back that if you all the days you had at the split will be on this account as World of Warships premium, but from now on, what you buy will not will not be the same thing. I, if you buy a World of Warships premium, it will not turn into World of Tanks premium with the extra bonuses. There's some other ins and outs of that, but just just be aware from this day forward, it's a little bit different as to what kind of premium you're getting and make sure you're careful before you click. But I happen to have 413 days of premium because I had all those days at the switch out, which was whatever it was, five, six months ago. I don't remember at this point. It, it could have been a year for all I know. It was a while ago, but not that long. That, that narrows it down, right? A while ago, but not that long. <laughs> so... Much like I talked about a little bit in my World of Warplanes, which is the true noob experience, zero knowledge, first battles kind of thing, I have a little bit of experience in World of Warships, though I would not even come close to calling myself an expert in it. But there's a lot of things that are very similar. Angling of armor, thickness of armor, the angle at which the penetration comes in, HE mechanics, setting fires and things like that, uh, AP penetrating through armor, all those kinds of things. The reload timer being long for the bigger caliber guns, very similar. Some people have talked about it being a lot like artillery. It's kind of a combo of artillery and direct fire. It's artillery like World of Tanks because it has that lob kind of idea at long ranges, but it can be also direct fire with just what you would consider in World of Tanks kind of a slow shell velocity even though it's a, a fairly fast shell velocity, it's the distances that make it seem like it takes forever for the shell to get there. It's running at some of the same speeds that some of the tanks are firing, but it's actually a much longer distance right there. So without getting into that too much, there's deflection shooting, there's lead fire, there's more lead fire for distance. Lots of, lots of cool game mechanics that are similar to World of Tanks and some things that are a little bit different as well. There's also torpedoes. 
There's carriers with airplanes, which I understand just got nerfed. I know nothing about how they work beforehand. I played. I have one carrier I unlocked. I played it once or twice and haven't messed with it too much. I'm not going to talk too much about the carriers. They haven't been too big of a factor to me down at the low tiers. You can see that it comes in at tier 4 for the first carriers. So I've seen them. I've seen the airplanes, but I've been killed by them a couple times, but not absolutely murderized. My understanding is that they got nerfed pretty hard. So I can't really talk to whether that's been a good thing or a bad thing. I will tell you that from my experience, so far at low tiers, they haven't been a big deal. I assume maybe they were at the high tiers because they really got the nerf hammer is from what I read without knowing the details. And that's pretty much it, man. You got modules that you unlock. If you look at here, you go through some modules, not nearly as many as some tanks. Then you get to the next tank and you need X number of experience. You can see that I'm sitting here on the New York. I have 4,667. I have 4,047 up here in the top right of free experience. So I need 40,000 more experience here for the next ship. One thing I haven't run into with this that I ran into with planes you saw yesterday is the resolution problem isn't there for me on ships. And I don't know if there's a fix on planes. You know, as I think about it, I think I remember reading something about that problem. I, that, that brain cell just ignited. But anyway, if you know about it, leave it down in the comments. But in any event, we're talking ships, so this all looks good. You have, you have two types of shells. As far as I can tell, there's only two, AP and HE. You have consumables. Got a spotter airplane, a repair party, which actually adds hit points back, not many but some, and a repair party, damage control, which will stop fires, stop flooding, and some other things, and fix things like broken steering and all that good stuff. Then you've also got upgrades, which are equipment, basically, if you're familiar with tanks, things that help you do things slightly better, shoot, move, uh, defend, better torpedo capabilities, some all kinds of things, which are pretty cool. And... They seem to be fairly specific to different kind, different classes of ta uh, <laughs> tanks. There I go again. Different classes of ships. And really, it, you know, it's very similar. So let's look at some gameplay at very low level. One of them might even be a co-op battle. I'm not sure. But I'm going to show you a couple here on how ships works. Here we go. All right, here we are. We are in our Nassau. Now, <laughs> there's something going on with the replays on World of Warships. If... If I open them once and get the replay, the next time I try to open it, it thinks I'm trying to log into the game, which is super annoying. I'll try to figure that out. I had a couple of good games I wanted to show you. I don't even know how this game goes, but I'm so annoyed at World of Warships replay system. It's, I don't know, I'm doing something wrong. I'm not doing anything wrong. It's wacky. It doesn't work. It's it's irritating because their their replay system in all their games has been nothing but a nightmare. <laughs> and as a content creator, it drives me crazy. But anyway, here we go with the Nassau. You can see the guys with the little colons there. Is it a colon or semicolon? I don't remember. The one that doesn't have the comma. Whatever that is. Those are all bots. So it's me and Edless and detected. Gooey Cove and some bots against all bots, it would appear. So this may even be a co-op battle right here. This may even be a co-op. There's a couple, there's a way to figure that out when you launch, I don't remember, I played some of each. So we'll go ahead and show you what I'm doing. Taking some shots at some guys, there's the destroyer, the shear. So if you look at this, you can see that the little, the little triangle symbol is a destroyer with the one slash is a cruiser and the double slash is a battleship. And if you look at the top, you can tell that we've got, I have one battleship, that's me, I'm the white one on the green team, three cruisers and three destroyers. Unfortunately, I can't get my, I can't get my mouse off the screen because again, their replay system is dopey. But anyway, my nugget is over top the, the mini map, but there's the mini map, you can see it down there. It actually gets bigger and smaller with plus or minus. In warplanes, it's not plus or minus. That drives me crazy. So we're taking a look at what's happening here. See the little green circle? That is your aim point. And notice that the turrets take forever. The turrets take forever. So this is interesting. This is before I figured out the gun sight. Before I figured out the gun sight. And I may actually have to set it up in settings. See, I'm going to do this real time because I'm wondering if that's true. Is it wacky like that? It looks like it is. Where is that silly thing? Is it controls? Uh, da, da, da. 
trying to do this real time. Oh man, where is that thing? All right, I don't know. See, this is a first look. So there's a line that goes along there and it gives you some of the timing in seconds. You can see that I go ahead and put the pipper right near him. We'll drop some on there and I get one hit off of the Dresden. And look at the reload time, it's quite long. Where the guns are situated on the ta on the tank, on the ship are important. You can see this weird vehicle, this weird battleship has a turret on the left side that's wholly useless as I am putting my side to these guys. A broadside is nice because you bring a lot of guns to bear. It's bad because it exposes a lot of the ship to counterfire. It's easier to hit. You can see that I'm hitting or I'm shooting at the Dresden. And he's coming right at me, so he's a narrower target. But as we get closer, now it's more of a direct fire thing, right? I'm just smashing my guns right into that guy. You see those shots going out. There is dispersion, much like tanks. So not every shot's going to go where you want it to. I'm taking fire from the other battleships over there. And I'm trying to dump some shots into this cruiser who's coming at me. He's probably going to drop some probably going to drop some torps at me here and momentarily. I don't see any yet. So we're just blasting this guy as we go. Also, I have secondaries, which are smaller guns. I'm well in range of those. Those will open up automatically. You won't have to do anything. And down goes the Dresden. He didn't last very long. And that's, that's a lot like tanks, right? If you run into the wrong guy and go right at him, then you're probably going to die. That was likely to have been a bot. Uh, it doesn't, can't tell who it is right now, but he's one of the dead guys. Let's find out. Are there any? No, they're all bots. Never mind. I forgot about that. They're all bots, so the bot drove straight at me, and I was able to shoot him down. We'll go ahead and try to speed this thing up. At least that control worked. All right, now here is an example of me trying to lead fire this guy. And again, I think the setting's wrong in the replay because, like I said, there's a line there that you use, and it's got hash marks in seconds. If you see it says 3.69 seconds, right to the left of my aiming point, you'd put the three hash mark on this guy, and that would be a decent firing solution, unless he's moving very fast. You can see I went right over that guy. Probably a little too much lead fire as he's not moving very fast. The smoke out of the stack will let you know, and if I can see his relative movement, it's not much. So I learned my lesson. I bring it back a little bit and I've got a long reload time on my left looking gun. So you can see, if you look down the bottom left, I'm pointing out but you can't see, bottom left has a little compass rose and it shows you which guns are pointing where, and they will come up green when they're ready to fire. So we're just about, there we go, there's two of them green, and we can blast into this guy. Now that's a battleship who's straight on, so that's about his best armor profile to me, and angles matter too, so if I hit to the side of the armor, it has a better chance of bouncing off and people are just blasting away at this guy. What I do here then is I decide to turn into him to bring my better armor profile to him. And as I'm reloading then, under four seconds, I'll get a broadside and bring up my better guns on this guy. So we get all of them the ready and fire. fire. You don't see a little fire going on there? That means I was lit on fire. See how I hit R? The timer's going down to 9.5, 8.2. That fixes the fire. And I'm able to put some shots in there. And now you can see our secondaries are blasting back and forth at each other as I zoom out. You can see them just popping off. Problem Those solved, are all the little sir. guns and the Torpedo little asteroids along the side. Looks like the back end of my, my ship just took a huge hit. And now I'm fighting like two or three guys. And that is a recipe for disaster in World Torpedoes of Tanks. If front. you get focused fired, it is not Torpedoes good. Deport. Just I said World of Tanks once again. Same as World of Tanks. A focus fire on you and you're not going to see all the shots coming in. It's just not going to last very long. I've got a TD and a battleship hammering on me. We are, nope, we're losing. We're losing big time. So now I'm shooting at the back of this guy. And it's all over but the shot. And you can see I'm flooding. The little symbols down there on my ship. Showing water coming on board. And it's all over. I'm just taking hits from every direction. My secondaries are doing the best they can. But I've got a cruiser. See how he just disappeared? Now what happened there is, and it's hard to see, but see that little white line right there? The destroyer that was with him laid a smoke screen. He finally came out from it. I was able to see him. The destroyer was with him late as most of the destroyer actually disappeared. So seeing guys is important in this game just like it is in World of Tanks. Destroyers are hard to see. They have better camo, as it were. There's camo values. You can put extra camo on the, on the ship that will help you. There are skills that help with camo and all the same kind of ideas as World of Tanks. So I can just sit there getting hammered, hating life, surrounded by everyone, and me and two other humans have basically lost 
to bots right here if I try to take down this destroyer. See how fast he's moving and how much lead fire I had to have? And I hit him once or twice. So I was a little bit too low on the aim. Like I said, with that line, you want to put that line on the horizon to slightly above, or right on the base of his hole to slightly above, is the aiming technique or one of them. My second area of firing at me is 3.8 nautical miles, and boom. There goes Guido in the NASA losing wholesale with looks like 44,728 damage against a bunch of bots. <laughs> so that's that's true noob status. True noob status. Let's see if I can get this other one going here. Right, here's the second example. You know, I, I actually reloaded that last that last replay, and it is not whether you loaded it once or not, it just seems random. There's something about certain replays they won't open. They they try to open the game and log in and don't work. So we'll, we'll work on that one. But here we have the Clemson, which is an American destroyer. So now we're in a smaller tank, <laughs> smaller ship, the Clemson, and we're looking around at the different guys. And it looks like, once again, we have the issue with the... Where is it? i got to find it. It's driving me crazy. Has to be right here. Language sector. Ah, crosshair. Oh, it won't let me select the crosshair in the replay. Oh, well, that's. <laughs> Come on, man. All right, clearly Guido for content is going to have to do a little more research for whatever reason. I can't select the cross crosshair in the replay. That that makes no sense. All right, there's again something I'm doing wrong. But anyway. The cool thing about the destroyers are, you can see down the bottom, you have a, at least in this case, you have a boost for your engine to, to go faster. Good thing. You have a T for smoke. Different, different, I know nationalities have different capabilities on smoke. Maybe ships themselves don't know how long they last, how effective they are. And then an R for repair like the rest of the ships do. And then number three, so you've got number one for HE. This is all you really need to know. Number two for AP and number three for torpedoes. And that's about all the weapons that I've run into so far. And now I'm using this island to come around this corner and I want to try to get shots in on these on these heavier tanks. So you can see the Acosta is out there from Clan Noob. And I think this is all players. Yeah, this is all players. I don't see any bots in this. And I think I don't last too long in this game. It'll be a good example of what happens. Talk about HE mechanics for just a minute. One of the things that's cool about HE is it will light the enemy on fire. Even for the destroyers, you can light a battleship on fire with HE. You're not going to do a whole bunch of damage with the HE itself, but you can light them on fire. So HE is, from my understanding, is recommended to, to blap them with, try to light them on fire, annoy the living crap out of them while you try to get in there. Use the, use the smoke for camo to sneak in or to just disengage and run away. I have not had a whole bunch of luck with that. Seems like I get close enough to turn on the smoke and I get obliterated before I can get away. Because the other thing about torpedoes you need to know is, and it's not going to show it on this one, unfortunately. Replays don't work that way. Oh, there we go. Five kilometers. Five kilometers. That's pretty close. If, if you can't sneak up, you're going to be dead for quite a long time between competent humans with a five kilometer range. So you can see I'm trying to use, and these spotting circles down here are similar to tanks. I think the dash one is the one I can be seen at. I'm not 100% sure, but one is your spotting, the other one is spot head. I'll have to look into that. I don't remember which is which. Frankly, I don't know what the third one is, but anyway, <laughs> I'm a noob. <laughs> don't take don't take anything I say here as the, God, as the gospel truth. <laughs> Other than my views on this, you can see this cruiser is getting hammered. I'll take some shots on that guy as well. I'm trying to light him on fire. There we go. I put a couple hits on him. Yeehaw for me. Detected. See that little detected thing? Hugely important. Hugely important. Where is it? Can't get my Enemy mouse. I hate this sunk. thing. All right, so detected. That means they see me, and that's not good because then I start getting shot at. I think I just got shot at. Yes, I did. That big battleship is shooting at me. That's not a good thing because a battleship, if he nails you with a good broadside, you're done. It's over. It is over. So I'm just trying to put some HE on this guy. There's a couple in there. There we go. 990. Put a little damage on him. I don't remember what happened in this. I'm going at him. But <laughs> like a spider monkey. I guess weaving. I don't know. Does that work, World of Warships, guys? I don't think it does. So far, it's not worked well for me. There's a fire. I don't know if I lit that. Somebody did. We're going to try to kill this guy. Oh, there we go. We've destroyed. And I got a kill somewhere in there. Did I kill him? 
I don't know. I have no idea. <clears throat> now the Langley is making a runner. Actually, this turns out to be a decent game, as I recall. I think I think I chased this Langley for a while, and I maybe don't die. We'll find out. Look at those shells going in. <clears throat> One thing to remember for the long-range shells, long-range shots, is you're going to get a lot of arc. And what that will do is bring the, bring the arc down on top and go through what is usually thinner top deck armor. You can see those things just lobbing over, and we're just going to hopefully go through the top of the line, thump him a little bit, and it's a carrier, so we're going to try to light this dude on fire if possible. Oh, those are a little bit short. See, he's, he's kind of moving around trying to get out of the way. And what I'm worried about is his buddy over there, the battleship, if he starts paying attention to me, because I don't really have any friends right now. One thing I've learned in the game is if you can, there you lit the guy on fire, looks like, and put it out. See the little set on fire thing comes up? But he must have had an R and he fixed it right away, so we're going to keep on firing and try to do it again. One thing I have found is on, on a destroyer, Smoke generator two, see now, now I'm taking fire from the big boy, see how he just barely missed me? You want to either be able to sneak up on him, like I mean come around a, a island and drop your torps and run, or drop a a uh, smoke screen that you can fire from behind Engine for a while activated. or have a lot of other airplane or airplanes <laughs> tanks airplanes holy cow or have a lot of other ships around and I've made a, a terrible error right here there's there's a lot of these guys smoke and not nearly set. enough of me and I'm firing torpedoes as fast as I can see the little green thing that's the torpedo right there there's another one I have two torp launchers on the side and I think they're two each. No, they're three each. So there's quite a few torpedoes. Look at all those dudes heading out. So torpedoes to port. shots of three. Now there's my smoke screen that I laid out. And I am no torpedoes longer detected. So I'm hiding. That's a good thing. I'm very scared right now. Good news is someone else is spotting. So I can keep firing on that guy. Much like tanks, when you shoot, your camo goes down. And now we've got the Langley back. So he's just been getting pummeled by us. Us being the entire team. But it looks like my torpedoes were poorly laid. Remember, you're going to have to lead fire on those things quite a bit. And now I've got this... Oh, jeez, and I've got a big old... No, that's going to suck. Torpedoes no! <laughs> I got dead ahead. Thumbered. Thumbered? Thumped. And now I'm outside of my... Now I'm outside of my smoke screen, but we're really hammering this... This cruiser. So I'm going to come around here. Another thing about torpedoes is it's easy to hit your buddies with your own torpedoes. I've... I was, you turned purple in this game. I was purple a lot for a while there because I kept trying to lay torpedoes and I kept nailing my own my own ships, tanks, airplanes, whatever the hell they are with them. So watch out for that. See how that guy just disappeared? The camo system pretty similar. I went behind right there, that smoke screen. Now I can no longer see him. Spotting planes can help out with that. See that airplane right there is driving around. Some of them are spotting. Some of them have bombs. Some of them have torpedoes. So I'm coming back at this guy, and I'm going to try to find this cruiser. We've done a fairly decent job of staying out of harm's way here. The destroyer's fast. Torpedoes it's like a scout tank. It's kind of the equivalent of a scout tank or a light tank. There goes the enemy torpedoes. I barely saw them in time. And now we've got this destroyer doing his thing over here. And I am well and truly detected at this point, and there's still some big kids running around. So we'll put a little lead fire in there. Somebody fires over me. Really pretty cool with the graphics. It actually looks cool, but somebody fired well behind him. So I'm going to put a lot more lead fire. And I, did I need more, or am I going to get a hit? Oh, I just barely missed the guy. Now he's turning towards us. That should make it a little easier to hit him. Which I don't. Oh, I think I got a piece of him there, maybe. Somebody did anyway, even if it wasn't me. Torpedoes and trying front. some lead fire. He's doing everything he can do to not get hit. There torpedoes we go. I finally ahead. got some shots in him. So we'll take some torpedoes. There's some torpedoes, torpedoes in the water, you can tell, because of those little symbols. And then he turns. I'm trying to put in lead. The first salvo looks like it's going behind him. The second salvo is going to go behind him because he's just too fast. It's hard to torpedo destroyers, especially at that range. And there he goes. So he goes down in a heap. And now we will swing around and we'll head out. I'd really like to run down that Langley and, and kill the carrier, but we've got a battleship to deal with first. A little airplane symbol there. Smaller guns are going to have shorter range. The battleships can well outrange destroyers, obviously, and most cruisers as well. Some of the cruisers have pretty good range at higher tiers, but the battleships are going to be your big daddy. You will tend to find those guys hanging out a lot further back. Uh, I have tried to be the big bad battleship in a couple cases and just bull my way forward, and that's also a recipe for dying. 
because then you start getting focus fired. You're the closest guy. Everyone's <laughs> everyone's going to shoot at you. So probably not the greatest idea right there. You can see the AAA is automatic. It just goes after the airplanes as they fly around. There are some bonus things, equipment and things that will help you. And that's a good thing right there. That, that poor... Uh, battleship of ours has been taking on a good portion of their team for a while over there. So we're going to run in here and see if we can't help these guys out. There we go. So we've knocked down an airplane. You do have to watch the airplanes because if they start a run on you and you don't avoid, you can really get hammered pretty badly by the airplanes there. So now I'm just going to fire. Looks like our battleship is in tough shape. And I think I actually fired at my own battleship there. That's something I have had a problem with. Sometimes it's hard for me to identify what is what based on the zoom in. The zoom, by the way, is shift. It will zoom in much like World of Tanks will. So I'm getting better at not TKing my own team, but it was not obvious for a while there to begin with. Put a bunch of lead on him, and I think I fire well in front of him. So I'm just trying to avoid getting hit. Yeah, those shots went well in front. And really, I should have been focusing this dude because he's closer to dead. That's the whole focus fire thing, so we'll drop some on that guy. And I'm just blabbing HE looking for a fire if I can get one on him. Right under the super superstructure. Take a little bit of damage off him again. Checking around to see what's going on. There's only three of them alive. We've got two of them right here. Now we got the torps going. And I'm going to focus this guy with the torp because the other guy is near Smoke dead. So we'll take a shot. Try to get out in front of him. There we go. There goes the torps. Torpedoes dead ahead. Switch back over to the gun. Torpedoes Moving from the gun to the torps is not too easy. I've, I have had a few problems. Look, he's looking right at me. This is not good. This guy is trying to shoot me. So I'm trying to get out of his way. And I'm able to drop a smoke screen. So we'll drop some more torps in the water. My effectiveness and skill with the torps is is coming along, but it is not not an easy thing, and just kind of some guesswork. Let's see if one of these torps hits this guy. There we go. We've there we go. We got that guy with some torps. We can hit the other one. I don't know. He's making a runner. It looks like we're probably gonna miss. Yeah, but he's down pretty well, as, down hit points as well. We're looking to light that guy on fire, and there he just disappeared because I'm in the smoke screen and nobody's got a light on him. So I'm gonna come out of the smoke screen here. I'm gonna actually use the edge of it. Try to get some lights for the other ship, but I don't know what happened there. Looks like we won. <laughs> Actually just crashed. Critical error has occurred. <laughs> so, <laughs> Come on, Wargaming. Your replay system and ships is driving me nuts. I'm going to go research that. There you go. Ship Saturday. Just me riffing a little bit on, on my first experiences with it. I am... Um, Getting along decently in World of Ships, World of Warships, airplanes I've just started. Uh, let me know what you think there. You know, if you guys play it, if there's anything I, especially things I can learn, things I was doing wrong, tactics involved there that you, you see I could do better, let me know. I'd appreciate that. But otherwise, guys, thanks for tuning in this Saturday on Ship Saturday, and uh, we will see you. Oh, wait a minute. Also, I'll be on vacation tomorrow. So, so. I don't, right now, this is this is a week in advance. I don't know if I'm doing a coffee talk. Probably not. I'm probably just going to drop a video. If you get a coffee talk bonus, if you don't, then you know what happened. I am uh, on my trip. So we'll see you in a couple weeks. I'll have regular videos for the rest of the two weeks. And uh, enjoy the rest of your summer, and I'll see you when I get back.